Hello again, everybody, and welcome to Golden Moments. I'm Bruce Howard. This past fall, the University of Tulsa unveiled a new Hall of Fame class, and included in that class is the first ever University of Tulsa women's tennis player, Anushka Van Exel. Let's take a look at the history and the career of Tulsa's two-time All-American player. She was one of the uh, first uh, big-time players that uh, we brought into our women's program had a great junior career and we were very excited to, uh, that we had the opportunity to bring her to Tulsa. Anushka was an exceptional tennis player. I mean, she came in here, she was probably a bit more experienced than the rest of us and she was just obviously an, an awesome tennis player, but she just always had this kind of like cool, calm, like confident demeanor about her and, and she just made tennis look easy. She really set the bar for so many firsts here at the University of Tulsa. Um, but just the words fierce, tough, I mean all those awesome words that you would want a player to be, she was all of them all wrapped in one. She really was. Before the Michael D. Case Tennis Center, before all the NCAA tournament appearances, before the conference championships, there was Anushka Van Exel, a young lady who came to TU from the Netherlands. Never been to Tulsa. I don't really know where Tulsa is. Um, and I guess at that time you didn't really have Google or anything. And, but I have to go there. So just give me a ticket, get me there. And that was really my first time to uh, go to the United States. So that was kind of fun. The move to Tulsa for Anushka had its adjustments. It's hot in, the, in the August. And like after a couple days of practice, I went into a pretty good cramp. Both of my legs cramped up and went to the training room. And they said, well, what have you been drinking or what have you been doing? I said, well, not really anything special, but I found this new drink that we don't have at home. I've never heard of it, but it's delicious. It's called Mountain Dew. And everyone just started laughing and they go like that. It has so much caffeine in it. It's crazy. So you might want to stop drinking that. After getting the hydration thing straightened out, Anushka started winning a lot. You know, I love tennis. I love competing uh, and I love winning. Anushka, she knew how to win. It was her habit, and I think all of us as teammates kind of were able to, to look up to that and, and, and make that our habit as well. She's very intense, but she's also very calm. So when we first kind of got her here, and she, I mean, she was super strong, so you could just tell by her strokes how strong she was. Two-time WAC Player of the Year, 73 wins, only 16 defeats, a ranking as high as number five in the ITA, and the first TU player to reach All-American. So it's neat to become an All-American. I mean, it means, you know, it, it's an acknowledgement of all your hard work and, and, and some of your success. She was one of the first ones to play your modern game. She could do everything. She could uh, uh, play an all-court game, was very aggressive, and uh, uh, was a good athlete. The fact that she could represent our university and um, the way that she did and become an All-American and then become an All-American again um, really kind of put us on the map with a lot of um, players around the world and, and in America to say, hey, I can go to the University of Tulsa and I can, I can be a really, really good player. Van Exel's success was not only limited to just singles, she was a great doubles player with Jennifer Despain. They got along well, they, they practiced hard, they had a lot of confidence, and I think it really helped Jennifer's game, watching Anushka have the confidence to go in and, and say we can play against anyone in the country. I would say I was, I was very lucky and very scared to be paired with her all at the same, so um, it was definitely an intimidating experience at the beginning, but one that was the best possible thing for me and for my career. I had a blast playing with Jen, and Jen is, is awesome, and it was, it was a great experience. That doubles team would be ranked as high as number 15 in the country, but wouldn't reach All-America status because in her senior year in the NCAAs, Van Exel was scheduled to play two singles matches and one doubles match on the same day in the broiling heat in Florida. Late in the second singles match, full body cramps caused her to default both her singles match and the upcoming doubles. It was something I've never seen before in my life. She went into full body cramps that were so scary and she kept trying to fight through it and I kept telling her to stop and she wouldn't. She fell on the court in a full body cramp. I had never seen anything like it. We 
She went to the training room. That was, that was a tough way to end. It really was. Um, I mean, um, you never know what could have been. What Anushka went through that day at Nationals um, caused the, the rules to be changed um, with the NCAA. Because of that, the NCAA looked at that rule and, and changed it to where now the athletes only can play or are allowed to play one singles and one doubles match a day. The impact is that you could say that the Van Exel rule has helped keep NCAA tennis players safe from serious medical issues since that day in the Florida sun. In the meantime, Anushka Van Exel's impact on TU women's tennis is immeasurable and now a member of the University of Tulsa Athletic Hall of Fame. She was our first All-American, so it's uh, it laid the foundation for those that followed and we just recently had two All-Americans come through, uh, but it really it started with Anushka way back when. She's a great person and she was just such a leader on and off the court um, that she really helped our team. and and was a, a great, a great teammate. I really think she had a great two years here and um, tons of success that really boosted her and her um, confidence to, to try to go on and play for a couple years on the tour. And um, I just, I mean, I have nothing but wonderful, wonderful memories of being her coach, for sure. And she really set the bar for so many firsts here at the University of Tulsa. It's a great honor to be, uh, become a member of a Hall of Fame. I mean, so I was surprised, but, um, also really fun just because I've been, you know, uh, talking about some memories and some really fun stuff that's come up and um, yeah, and I'm honored to be uh, inducted.